in those days, cadres were were threatening the police. Even in this government, cadres are telling police what to do. Eh? I saw a a a a a, a PF page propagandist, an admin that ran that page called Patriotic Front. That page that lies about the government that is inciting the youth asking a police officer can i climb your car and the record and the police say you can climb a a, a propaganda page a page that the admin is supposed to be on the run now the admin is supposed to be hiding for all the lies they lied for all the incitement and all the dangerous talk they did he he had the audacity to climb the police car eh? And start showing showing the world that they are protesting because of Esther Lungu. What kind of stupid police officers were there that day? Eh? If we talk, it's it's like you guys don't know you don't you don't know what it took to remove power from PF. You think that winning you think that you, you could win election with those useless manifesto that you had that made you fail election for, for five years. Eh? Eh? You think that you you left UPNDU even with your supporters from all over the world. You you think you could remove PF from power? You don't know what it takes to get power, and getting power is is not is hard. Give that power over to member, then you will know. You will know. I swear, give it to member. You will know. Eddie Galungu was giving power. HH, didn't you suffer? How many days did you spend in prison? Eh? eh, eh, eh what is his name? Eh, eh, how many PF, eh, eh, UPN officials We are in prison? In fact, many of them are still in prison today for something that they did not do. You have collected power. Tutu and Lube is threatening the police. Because they have seen that you are weak. You are very weak government. When you see a man in uniform, do you know the power of wearing a police uniform? Having a gun? And watching a maker that threatening you and telling you what to do? This is rubbish. This, you can't... You, it's like you don't know. You think that winning an election is just by the, the day they will grab power from you. You will know. You will regret. You will say, I am talking to you, the Inspector General of Police. Stop being. What? Who do you want to. Who the HH is doing enough? 30, over 30,000 teachers employed. People have seen it, people have applauded. Free education. People have seen it. They have applauded. Yesterday, the president has said that 22 billion kwacha will be brought in so that contractors will be paid. Everybody is happy. But why is it that this president is not protected? Eh? It's not protected in any way. You people want to want to be you want to come out clean. The only person that must come out clean at the end of the day is the president. When the president is clean, all the government officials are clean. If you come out clean and the president is not protected, it doesn't benefit you anything. It doesn't. In fact, President HH must look for an inspector general of police that love him. He must look for an inspector of general police that love him. It's like this one is too holy. You don't follow criminals with holiness. PF was a criminal organization. If it was not a criminal organization, why did the 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 the, 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 the what is his name, Mister Muila, the the former HG to PF? Why did he say if we lose the election, we are going to prison? And up to today, none of them have gone to prison. He said we are going to prison because they were a criminal organization. I know how many people 
that Kaiser Sulu killed. And up to today, Kaiser Sulu is, is, is a free person in Zambia. Nothing has happened to him. These were attacks. How many people were... Uh, like now, the story of Obed has died. No one has... No one... Na, that, nothing just like that. Eh? How many people were... The killers of Vespa. All those things that we are saying, you know, within a few months in, in, in our office, we are going to bring... Who has been brought to book? The more a church is fighting the more he's been frustrated by the people that he employed. The more he's fighting, the more he's been frustrated by the people that he employed. In our own eyes, PF broke the law. And all you will come out and say is that uh, 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 the, the police handled them very well. You insulted the police. It doesn't want thing. this country, Nigeria. It's not a it's not a good country and a good example. But you can never insult a man in uniform. Uniform must be respected. You cannot call a man in uniform nonsense. Who are you? They will they will teach you a lesson. If you are saying that PF Kadas insulting the police, PF Kadas abusing the police. It's, a, it's, a, it's an achievement. You are applauding them for handling things professionally. What professional are you talking about? You insult a uniform and you call it professional. A church does not have protection. The people he's working with are hiding. It's just like the way when, when he was in opposition, all of us came out. We took bullet for him, you know. We were ready to die for him. We showed him our support. 100% we are not hiding it we love him we there is no person who will say i love i love hh more than cr we love him and we love him today and we came out in public and defended him and we came out in public and gave him our support there are so many unfortunate criminals that have been appointed in government now who say we love him but we couldn't come in public because we are feeding with the information which is less information we are you feeding with we are feeding information to prevent PF from rigging election. PF rigged the election during the mo vo uh, voters registration. They rigged the election. Uh, yes. They rigged the election. The election was rigged that time. And when we realized that they have managed to rig the election during voters registration, whereby they registered a lot of people in Luapula, in the northern, and anywhere they thought that PF was uh, popular. They registered. So when we realized, we changed our system. We came out now to speak to the youth, encourage the youth to vote. And we spoke to them about tribalism and the youth listened to us. So most of these unfortunate people that we are hiding, at, uh, we are supporting a church, we are feeding information and we are hiding that have been appointed in government are the same people that are hiding. They don't want to fully come out and protect a church. They are still hiding. When they want to make decisions, they are making decisions like they are in opposition. They don't want to come out and work with a church. Even in police, even there in state house, in the OP, there are many of them like that who do not love the president. All they are looking for is an opportunity to have you fail. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.